Hello, hello, my fellow Expert Cup duelists. It's me, Cooper, winner of the Beginner's Cup, new member of the Experts Cup. We are going over there, and we are going back to the Expert Cup side of town, which is Domino City, instead of Puzzle City. So, Domino City, here we come. Okay, Puzzle Town to Domino City. So, in this new place, uh, let's go... Anybody new? Okay, level 2 opponent. I might consider dueling them. No opponent. Darn it. Oh boy! Level 5 opponent. I can't keep myself away. It's Yami. Okay. I thought it... Uh, that's weird. Every time I've seen Yami before... Oh, no. I knew it was him. Okay. That's fine, but I don't intend to lose. Okay, so this is going to be a real one. I don't know why I decided to duel him again. I already knew what he's like. Last time I had to beat him by deck out, if you guys remember. That was a rough one. But he has the bro most broken cards in the game. He has Snatch Steel, guys. He has... He has... I, I, he, he has Brain Control. He has Pot of Greed. He's got everything. If you can think of a good card, he has it. So we have to match him with just as good cards. Okay, he's playing defensively, which means it's probably Gamma or Beta or Alpha. Alright. That's going to throw away Valkyrion. Yep. Never understood why he, he uh, didn't mind having that in the graveyard. Okay, we're going to set this. We're going to activate D-Spell so we know what we're getting into. Magical Hats. Okay. Well, I'm willing to attack simply so that he activates Magical Hats, unless this is a card that doesn't care. Shit. Okay, well, I wanted to see if I can get him to activate Magical Hats, but that did not happen. Yeah, Yami Yugi. Cards to fear in his deck. The d monster card. Dark Magician and Dark Magician of Chaos. Graceful Charity. Great card. Can't stop it. I have ultimate offer. You know what? I'll activate it. Just so I have it. Hmm, I didn't get to see what he threw away. No monsters? You didn't summon a single monster? Are you crazy? Yugi, are you feeling okay? Are, do you do you need some help? Alright, let's uh Let's go aggressive. Let's go aggressive. But not super aggressive. I'm not gonna summon copycat. I'm gonna save copycat for an emergency. Uh let's go aggressive because we know he has magical hats, which won't save him here. But let's see what else he has. What's that other face down? And I have Crass Clown just waiting for him to make a mistake. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> That's gonna hurt a lot. Okay. That Graceful Charity got him exactly what he wanted. So now we're dealing with this. Alright, what is it? Beta? Okay, that's only two pieces of the... Oh, Zol! Shit. He's giving me his Beta, though. That was a big mistake. And that was an even bigger mistake. No, no, it's fine. Because not only can you not kill me, but since you can't kill me, no, you're going back to the hand and I'm losing nothing. No, I don't need ultimate offering here. Yeah, you're going back to the hand and I'm losing absolutely nothing. This is, this is going to be very sad for you. I mean, yes, you're going to summon him next turn to destroy me, but you're losing a lot of life points this turn. And that's what matters. The points you lose this turn, why would you give me beta instead of alpha? You should have played alpha in attack mode, given me alpha, attacked your, me uh, your, with your beta on against my alpha. And I would have been like, damn. Damn, Yugi, that's a damn good turn. Look at how happy my Crass Clown is. He loves it. He's loving it. He's jumping on top of his ball. Alright, Yugi. I'm trying to even up the score here because you've done a lot of damage thanks to your magic cylinder. I could really use a magic cylinder myself. Nothing I can do about this. Go ahead. I mean, I could do Spellbinding Circle. And I will do it. You may ask why, but I don't care. That might be my real answer. I don't care. I want to do this. I want to do as much damage now before he gets his good cards. Oh, if I can get Dream Clown, I get my Bickery Box. Yeah. If I want to do as much damage now before he gets his good cards. How about that? Is that a good enough reason for everyone at home? It better be, because that's all you're getting. 
Alright, I'm stealing your attack points, by the way. And now we're going to do as much damage this turn as possible. I'm not even worried about using Crass Clown's effect twice. I don't care. I got it once, that's good enough. Let's just do some damage. Why does Beta have, like, a little penis? I, I'm just curious. It doesn't, it doesn't matter to me. It's fine. It's just why. It's like square. <laughs> and it's like square. Why does he have a square one? Alright, so unless Yugi's been hiding something this whole time, like a snatch steal, which, god, that'd be some bullcrap, or a premature burial. Alright, he's down to 1900 life points, though, so I feel pretty confident that I can win on my next turn. Top deck to skill Dark Magician. I still have confidence. Still have him. I just need to top deck a monster and I can win next turn. Any monster that I can summon. So not Mass Beast is all I'm asking for. Just top deck a monster and I win. That, you know what? That'll end up being a monster, so let's do it. There we go. I win. You go away. And you go away. Yeah, enjoy your spell counter. You don't, you don't get to use it. I summon the Gemini L. I don't need to do this. I already won, but I activate Share the Pain. So, guys, again, we have defeated Yugi. We have never lost to Yami. A level, well, level five. A five-star opponent on the map. And uh, that makes me feel really good. Like, really good. So, die. Granted, the three times we beat him were with the same deck, because, honestly, I can't change decks in this game very often due to the lack of cards, which I am trying to change, but I can't. So, let's see. 110 experience, which means we're getting 110 monies for dueling him. Yep. Guaranteed a hun over 100 monies. That is what we need to see. Ugh, your skills are impressive. That's right, you're not winning this tournament, Yami. Alright, who's over here? Level 4 might be Rebecca again. I might uh, steer clear of that girl. She's she's scary. She kicked my booty last... Uh, she didn't kick my booty, but she showed me some damn good cards last episode. Someone in the ocean? Mako, you over here? Level 3. Could be Esperoba, so I don't know if I'm really anxious to duel level 3 again. Level 2? Haven't really tried a level 2 opponent in this area. You know what? Oh, wait, wait, someone's over here. Okay, no, it's nobody. Uh, wait. Yeah, it's nobody. I'm, you know, I'm willing to try out a level 2 opponent. It is Mako Tsunami! There he is! How is Esperoba ranked higher than you? That makes no sense to me. Oh man, I, I'm so disappointed. Big Hall, that's a new deck. That's a new deck. Alright, so uh, Mako Tsunami's new deck still counts as a level 2 deck, but I'm excited to duel him. I wonder what, if, what kind of cards he has. Alright, Big Guy is not a bad start. Not a bad start. Set that. We're not going to play Yami because we know he's going to use Umi. It's it's his whole gimmick. He uses Umi and then he uses um, Tornado Wall and then I lose. Mother Grizzly. That's a good card. Steel Shell. Great card. You would think it would give him more defense points, but actually he takes away defense and gives him attack points. No, I'm, I'm completely fine with that. Yep. Yep. There we go. Big guy's gone. Alright, let me see. Hmm. I'm not drawing shit for a while. Alright, you know what? I'm going to... Wow. <laughs> I really am not going to be drawing anything. Holy crap. I guess Metal Morph first. Then I want Dream Clown. Then I want Seven Tools. That You know what? No. Yeah. Then I want Yami. Then I want Fusions. If I had Crash Clown in my hand, I'd be more confident, but this is... This is actually bullcrap. I'm not drawing crap for a while. Alright. And Copycrat's not great in this situation, so I'm gonna go ahead and Hain Hain. And then hope to god my opponent does not uh, tribute summon for something big like Amphibian Beast. Although if he does, I'm going to copycat it. That's a really freaking good card. The fact that he has Abyss Soldier scares the crap out of me. Like, I have, I have never felt this kind of fear before. No, no, this is fine. I might actually let him keep his Abyss Soldier. 
because I want to copycat it. All right, you're going back to the hand, Mother Grizzly. All right, Abyss Soldier, come here. You're a creepy looking creature, but you're... Oh, God, you look so bad. It's a whale face. That is just disgusting to me. Um, honestly, yeah, I'll, I'll spell binding it. All right, there we go. I don't need to take any unnecessary damage. All right, copycat, get on the field. Take that monster's attack points. Just take it. Yes. And now I'm going to give you something so you have 2,100 attack points guaranteed. Metal Morph. There we go. And now that we're guaranteed 2,100 attack points, I don't have to worry about things. I'm still saving Yami this entire time for the fact that for waiting for him to play Yumi. Or Umi. Yeah, Umi. 3,000 attack. That's not bad. Sucks that I wasted my spellbinding circle, but I wanted to save my 1,800 life points. I have no real reason behind it. That was a terrible move on my part, but I don't care. I don't care. Maybe I was hoping his Abyss Soldier would activate his effect to get rid of my spellbinding circle. Okay, what are you throwing away? Jellyfish and... Ooh, you had giant red sea snake! Crap! That would beat me. That would definitely beat me. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, no, I don't have an answer for this. Yep, that, 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 that... Shit. I'm surprised you didn't get Abyss Soldier back, but whatever. Well then, he summoned what could be his boss monster, and I know I have nothing coming to save me. That is the worst part, knowing that nothing is going to be able to save you. I gotta think real hard how I'm gonna do this. How do I survive for another few turns when he has good cards in his hand? I knew Seven Tools was coming, he wasn't gonna be able to do anything. Fusion Sage is next, which is just as useless. Okay, what I can do for now, this, he's a fairy monster, so this will weaken him. And this will power up my monster, making him go down to 1200 attack and me go up to 1250 attack. Meaning I can at least get rid of one of his cards. Just one. Oh, wow, never mind, he lost way more attack. Oh, he's also a light monster and I'm a dark monster. Uh, and my monster lowers light monsters, didn't think about that. Alright, well, whatever. Manju's gone. And now he just has his whale, and probably his next card he's going to summon his Mother Grizzly. So, and his Mother Grizzly. And then I'll help me last for, what, one extra turn than what I thought. See, this is why you save your Spellbinding Circle. Oh, he drew Giant Red Sea Snake. Never mind. This is why you save your Spellbinding Circle, everybody at home. Just in case your opponent is this freaking strong. So his new deck should be a three-star off the bat, for sure. Because this is a damn... Maybe he just got a good hand and I got a bad hand, but still. This is great. This is a great opponent. Okay. So next turn, I lose the duel. I honestly think I lost the duel. I have even got to Fusion Sage. The duel is over. There's no way I'm going to win this duel. I lost to Mako twice now. That's my second time losing to Mako Tsunami. There's the Jellyfish. He can win this turn if he attacks with Jellyfish. Yep. You tried, Dream Clown. You tried. Oh my god, I, I haven't lost a duel in so long. Not since the tournament where Yuki beat me one out of three of the match. I still beat him two out of three and one, but still. Holy crap. Maybe I do need to make a new deck. But how do I make a new deck when I didn't get any cards because I lost this duel? I didn't get any money for losing. Mako Tsunami! This is why I haven't found you in so long. You're stronger than me. It only took him ten turns. My god. Alright. Yeah, you, you did it, man. You freaking did it. I gotta give it to you. So I beat the level 5 opponent. I beat the level 4 opponents. I beat the level 3 opponents. The second I go up against the level 2, I get my ass kicked. Look, look, this is Yugi. We already know it's Yugi. I'm gonna duel Yugi, because he'll give me a lot of money if I beat him. And, um, I'm gonna beat him somehow. And then everyone's gonna be like, wait, but you beat you lost to Mako. How did you beat Yugi? And I'm gonna be like, I don't know. I don't know. It has to be like he got a god hand and I got a bad hand. Or No, I played that one bad. Using my spellbinding cost me the duel. Alright. That's not great. That's probably not great either. 
Um, in hopes that he uses his mirror force early, I'm willing to attack him. This is in hopes that he uses it early. I could Yami, but I don't know if he has uh, the... I don't want him to play a spellcaster. So this is going to let him draw two cards. So Yugi's going to have any option he wants. Okay, yeah, if you want, you go ahead and Karibo, but... This is going to get... Wait, does that mean you don't get to draw a card because I didn't do any battle damage? Ha! Huh? You played yourself, Yugi. <laughs> you played yourself. All right, so unless he gets uh, the, the one spellcaster card with 1900 attack, then or Zombrai of the Dark, then I'm good. Shit. You just have an answer for everything, don't you? Oh, no you don't. Great, that makes me feel a lot more confident. All right, let's go ahead and summon you. Could be a big shield gardener, so I gotta get ready for that. Let me, uh... Now I'm willing to activate Yami. Because we don't know what we're running into here. Whenever you go up against Yami, you gotta play fast, because if you don't, you're gonna have to deck him out. I forgot about Needlewall. I always do. Oh, well, probably because I was thinking about Spellbinding Circle, but still. Oh, shit. Should have summoned Witch's Apprentice, but I was greedy and wanted to draw an extra card. Well then, that is not good. Since I took damage by battle phase, can I draw two cards due to Bistro Bertrand's effect? But no. Delinquent Duo, I've lost everything. I've lost my whole hand. I, I can't do anything. Freaking, that card should be banned. Alright, Alpha. Attack my monster. Now we're, we're not worth spellbinding. Now I'm, now I'm being careful with my spellbinding circle. Damn it, I lost my mass Sorcerer. All because I played this wrong. Not think I didn't think he'd have Gear Fortress. I should have known. I know he has the card, so I should have known. Hmm, a three or a four would be great. Specifically a three. Nope. All right. Well, he has a new face down. Let's activate it and see what it is. Could be a magical old uh, magic cylinder. Could be nothing because he wants to draw two cards. Okay. And as long as I'm killing his monsters, he won't be able to summon any of his boss monsters. That's the good news. He can't have two monsters on the field at the same time. That's my one thing. I can't let that happen. Okay, what are you looking for? Two pieces of the puzzle, huh? I mean, you still have to get uh, good old Gamma on the field. And a new face down, of course. Okay. One of these is Magic Cylinder eventually. It's going to be Magic Cylinder eventually. A four! That is nice! That makes me feel happy. Happiness is what I feel. Alright, let me summon you and attack mode for 1800 just so I spook Yugi. Can't get over that wall though. I need a dark... No, I need something strong. One of my boss monsters could do it. Damn it! That's the one card! That's the one card I can't beat! If I Spellbinding Circle now, and he just tributes for Dark Magician, then it was a waste of Spellbinding Circle. Unless I draw Mass Beast. If I draw the Mass Beast, then I'm going to be so pissed. You have no idea. Okay, three or four with Needle Wall. Hain Hain, okay, that gives me an option. Three or four, please. Nah, damn it. Damn it. All right, Bistro Butcher, we're just going to keep you in attack mode, and I might, if he doesn't summon Dark Magician, I might uh, do the thing. Okay, I might stun him then. Oh, are you willing to pay 800 life points to attack me directly? If so, I'm very... Oh, wait, actually, no, this is fine. Yeah, go ahead. So you attack Hain Hain. Now I'm going to bounce this card right back to his hand so that I don't have to worry about it for a tur one turn. And then I can get rid of his defense unless that third trap he set is going to be a problem. Which it probably is. Which, oh god. Black Pendant. That changes things. Three or four. Oh wait, two or three. Ha! Because I said it wrong, I tricked it. I tricked the machine. That's how we do it. Alright, let's go ahead and just attack. I'm assuming that trap's going to be Magic Cylinder. It was nothing! Damn it, I should have played Black Pendant. Oh, I could still play it to defend myself. But I should have done it for extra damage. Alright, enjoy your two new cards. Hell, I might deck you out like this. <laughs> this is how I deck you out. Alright, uh, you go there. 
power up our butcher friend. Just so that uh, Yugi can't get over him. I mean, yes, his Dark Magician could, but none of his other cards could. And that's the point. Uh, I knew he had that card and I still didn't care. Oh, do I stop it? Okay, I'm going to let his Beast... I, I want Bistro Butcher to attack me. And I don't want a Spellbinding yet. Because then I can at least get some cards in my hand. And if I can get D-Spell, because I run D-Spell, that would be great. Alright, thank you for the cards, Yugi. Not great. Not a great hand. Just gonna put that out there. Not a great hand. A 3 or a 4. A 4 would be better, though. A 3. Fine. Whatever. I lost my card. He loses 500 life points. Although, because of that, I don't get to gain life points, so damn it. I'm going to be stuck at 26. That is not good. 2,600 life points is quite the loss there. Alright, so what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to set Big Eye. And then I could build a Spellbinding Circle if I have to, but... I mean, my life points might demand that I do that. Oh my god, what are you getting back now? You just never want to lose Beta, do you? Because Beta is really powerful, even in my opinion. Ah, oh, yeah, that's one... Of many. And you summoned Alpha for no reason. Good. Alright. I am willing to Wabaku this turn. Because I can't take damage this turn. And I need to keep my monster in case I draw Summon Skull. Which I might be able to do thanks to my own effect. I might be able to make that happen. Alright. Let's see. None of these are great. But some of these will help. No. Okay. Okay. This is how... This is this is a way to win. This might help. He has four face downs to show me that it's not going to help, but I'm, it might help. So, three or four. And a one. Got it. Okay, I don't have life points to spare. That's one of the big problems. I got Copycat, though. And Copycat is boosted just as much as you, so we're the same attack now. And now I'm going to sit here and not attack? If I do that, I have to because he has too many face downs. I have to. I have to be bitch. I have to be bitch. And I'm assuming like two of those face downs are scapegoat. Okay, this is good. This is exactly what I wanted. The only reason why? That's not what I wanted. That thing's a little bit bigger than I thought and is going to give him a spell card. Oh, that's fine. The reason why is because I've been saving Spellbinding Circle this whole time. And now I have a reason to use it. So his boss monster is on the field with 3,000 attack points. I'm not beating that anytime soon. You saw my next five cards. I'm not beating that card anytime soon. Out of curiosity, is there a way I can win by deck out again? Is that just... Is that... Is, is that... A, oh my god. Oh, what is this luck stat? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right. All right. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? If I go full on aggressive, I'm assuming Scapegoat is what's going to happen, but it could also be Mirror Force. I'm going to keep Big Guy in defense mode, and we're going to try. There's Scapegoat. Okay. Well, we knew this was going to happen. It's just his way of stalling, and I don't care if he has a bunch of tokens. In fact, that's fine. It takes up summoning space, so he can't summon his big monsters. Because I might have to go for deck out again. In all honesty. Let me... Let me how, many, how many cards do you have left? 20? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. No way am I going to wait for that. Oh, uh, okay. The only reason I didn't put big guy in attack mode was because of the de uh, because of uh, the the mirror force ability, a chance. And mirror force would end the duel. I would lose. Yeah, we already knew that was happening. You know, my DS might be dying soon. I might need to find the charger. I have the charger, like, right here. But setting it up is not going to be easy given my uh, seating position. Alright, so that's going to destroy my big eye. I gotta live with that. Uh, yeah, I gotta live with that. That's fine. I'm just gonna... Yeah, this, this, let's just hope this doesn't unplug the thing, but it's not going to turn it off. I just got to make sure I do this so that I don't lose uh, the save data. So give me one second, guys. I'm going to put this down for a second. I'm just going to let the game play.
All right, sorry guys. Ugh. I obviously have been playing a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh today. If uh, my my DS is dying, is that that's a, that's a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh. So let me go ahead and put the charger in, and I feel a lot more safe. <laughs> I feel better about myself now. As had it been a problem, I would have been sad. All right, that's not good. I just realized that that card is super deadly to me right now when I have like no life points left. And I know he has more than one of them. So he could chip me to death is what he might be planning. Uh, honestly, anything. Anything but a one, again. Okay, anything but a one and uh, again. Anything but a one and uh, again, please. Okay, that's fine. Eh, as long as we're tearing down the wall, you know? That's, that's all good with me. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and use the man-eating treasure chest, and we're going to hope he doesn't have Mirror Force. If he does, I lose the duel. Because he could have been saving it this whole time for me to summon, uh, waiting for me to summon two monsters. That's even worse than Mirror Force. I forgot that he had a card like that. So I'm going to lose my man-eating treasure chest. I, I get to keep my copycat, but I lose life points. That's the real problem. So I am really low on life points now. And Yugi is completely safe. Now, luckily for me, I get my monster back. So what is the real plan? What is the ultimate goal here, Yugi? Oh, destroy my needle wall. That's a good goal. That's a good goal. My needle wall is a problem for you. And losing it would hurt me. That's a cool little effect they had. Oh, that's actually even better idea. Even though it powers up a lot of your monsters too, what's the point when I have this many, uh, this uh, little attack points left? So yeah, honestly, good play on Yugi's part. All right, anything but a one. We're gonna be playing with that for a while now. Anything but a one. Hey, that's actually really good. Because he could have tributed that monster. Or he's gonna summon a new one. And if it's giant rat, I'm gonna be pissed. Some bright of the dark. Something I can't kill. But something that can definitely kill me. Perfect. Alright, that's exactly what I wanted. So hopefully that other face down card is just another scapegoat. You know? Just another scapegoat. Because I want Yugi to attack my copycat. And then I'm going to rush recklessly and kill him. That way I kill two monsters not even on my turn. So one monster down. And he can't tribute for uh, Dark Magician. So we're good. That's... That's a problem. <laughs> that's a problem because now even if I do kill Zombra of the Dark with this effect he's going to have that card that matches my copycat so what he can do is he could summon another monster and uh yeah and yeah that's a problem freaking hell I need to draw like Black Pendant or something or Metal Morph or I need to get lucky with my Needle Wall which I'm surprised he didn't try to destroy the Needle Wall Seven tools. Okay. We're finally out of uh, the cards that Big Eye showed us. Hey, at least it destroyed something, right? In fact, because it destroyed something, I'm actually not scared anymore. I might be in the clear. It's, ru it's rough that I have to use my Fisher, but I can't risk him clashing with me and then killing me with a direct attack. Because that would that would win him the duel. When you're fighting a level 5 opponent like Yugi, you gotta go all out. You can't, you can't just... Uh, Hope for the best, even though that's what I've been doing this entire game. Screw you. I have to do what I have to do. Fisher. Yugi's out of options now. Well, actually, no. Look at his hand. He has plenty of options, but he's out of aggressive options. Oh, shit. He's probably going to get Mirror Force or Magic Cylinder. He didn't get anything. Good. Monster? Oh, shit. That's a monster, but it could cost me the duel. It's a monster that could cost me the duel. Oh, shit. I can't believe I'm even considering this. This is so bad. Ah, damn it. I mean, I'm okay with this because as long as he doesn't have two monsters on the field, it's fine. I I'll let him live with one. I'll leave, uh, have one. It doesn't change anything. Yeah, see, Gamma's not going to do anything to me. And I'm not willing to pay a thousand life points to do 500 damage. So, you know what? Keep your Gamma. Maybe I'll Needle Wall him anyway. All right, new face down. That's it. That's going to be the card that wins him this duel. It could be Magic Cylinder. It could be any. Oh, wait a minute. It doesn't matter what it is. I hope to get a three or four. Damn. It doesn't matter what it is because I have seven tools and I can pay that life points. And then Dark Elf just becomes a big old wall. 
But I'm curious in what it is, so let's see. Mirror Force. It, either way, I have to stop it. I lose the duel if I don't stop it. So he still has Magic Cylinder somewhere in that deck. And now, if, I, if he gets it, I lose the duel. I can't win the duel if he gets it. Eh. Plus, with 800 life points left, he can beat me with using Big Shield Gardna, gear, the Gear Golem card, stuff like that. The only way I can win is if he doesn't top deck Magic Cylinder. Okay. Mystic Box. Honestly, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. I didn't want... I can't use my Dark... Oh my god, you gave me a better... You are dumb! I love you! <laughs> I love dumb Yugi! Thank you, dumb Yugi! Thank you so much! You have no idea how badly I need this right now. Damn it, that was his new card! It could just be Magic Cylinder, and now I can't even take the risk. It wasn't Magic Cylinder, I'm still in this duel. I think I won the duel. I think I won the duel. I think I won the duel. I can't believe it, I think I won the duel. After all of this, after all the bullcrap you just put me through, I think I did it. Sure, he has one face down he hasn't shown the entire game. Which could just be another one of these freaking, um, what do they call it? Another scapegoat. But I don't have a choice, because if he gets another one of those trap cards, I lose the duel by damage. It could just be another scapegoat. After all this time. 800 damage. Yugi should be bleeding. He has nothing left. Actually, he has plenty left, but it's not good. And I still have Metal Morph to do another... Oh, I should have used Metal Morph and won the duel that way! Damn it! I'm an idiot! I'm an idiot! I'm gonna lose to Scapegoat! Oh, wait! Never mind! I'm not, I'm not dumb enough! I'm fine! Everything's fine! Everything's fine! We won the duel! <laughs> this is so hard! I need a new deck! I need money! Someone donate money to me! Please! I need it! God! I deserve money! 169. We're only going to be able to buy two packs today. But you know what? We had a loss today, so that makes sense. Your skills are impressive. Thank you, Yugi. I really needed to hear that today. <laughs> I'm starting to question myself, Yugi. <laughs> I'm really starting to question my own skills. I just want to end the day at the card shop, okay? I just want to buy some cards and go home. Okay, let's go to the card shop. Yes, card shop, buy good cards, buy bad cards if I have to. I'll buy any cards. I'll buy your cards. Alright, and here we go, card counter. So, plenty of cards to, packs to buy from. I don't know which one of these is going to have the card I want. I do know Pot of Greed's in this pack, so I'll buy one of these today. Pot of Greed is in here somewhere. Mm-hmm. I love me some Dream Clown. Mm-hmm. Nothing. We got new cards, but nothing I needed. Um, 82% complete. We got a lot of these, too. I don't know. Give me another one of these. Alright, hope for the best, everybody. It's been a rough day. That's a good one. That's good. <gasps> another Summon Skull. That's really good. That's really good. That's really good. Okay. Today was good day. Hi, Cooper. Oh, because I got 80%, you're going to give me, uh, yeah, new recipes, right? Uh, Miracle of Nature. Yep, that's the first one. And Magician Soul. Yep, we got it. Yay. Once you pass 80%, they give you the thing so you can see which cards you already have and which cards you need. All right, guys. I've done my best. I don't even think I have enough cards to make a new deck, but I will consider it. Oh, you know what? We should go home first. That way I can save the game. And if I can't, you know, you never know. I might get jumped. Even though I just beat Pegasus, and you think Pegasus would be the final Shadow Game Duelist, but who knows. Nope, I can make it home safe. Good. So guys, that's going to be it for tonight. I want to thank you all for watching. Next time, we're going to be uh, struggling. <laughs> struggling in the Expert Cup, because I couldn't beat Mako. I beat everybody else, barely, but I couldn't beat Mako. So, see you all then.